The more I preached to them, the less they listened. They were outlaws now, and they didn't want my judgment. There was no longer any talk about rebuilding our home or our farm back in Georgia. As we waited for Juarez to return, the time dragged endlessly. Finally, Ray boasted of Marissa's promise to run away with him if he could get the medallion. He said he was taking the gold and the girl and that no one would stand in his way. Thomas didn't say a single word, but I saw the fire in his eyes. He rode off in silence. Ray had no idea where he was going, but I did. Were you gonna tell me? You shouldn't be in here. If the men see... Do you think I wouldn't find out? What are you talking about? You know exactly what I'm talking about. You sold yourself to Ray for the gold. I didn't sell myself to anyone. He said he wanted the medallion, so I told him to take it. For himself? Or for you? For both of us. All of us. And what about Juarez? Ray said he would kill him. He's not the only McCall who knows how to handle a gun. But I don't want you to fight, Juan. I don't want you to get hurt. But it's okay if Ray gets hurt. I'm not in love with Ray. Want some ammo? Seen my notice? I'm looking to hire some guns. A fellow by the name of Snipes wants to take my land. He sent one of his men to intimidate me, and I had no choice but to kill him. More of his men are on the way, and I can't handle them all. He'll get you a hundred cash if you help me take care of them. It's all the money I got. Listen up, they'll be here soon. Get on the balcony and wait for my sign. have a death wish. The only thing I'm wishing for is you and a pine box. You yellow belly.
You got a lot of grit, Mr. Freeman, I'll give you that. But I think you better fetch the deed to this land. That is, if you ever want to see your daughter again. Yeah, that's right, we have Rebecca. And she's a pretty little thing. But she won't be once we're done with her. You got one hour to do the right thing. One hour, you hear me? Not Rebecca. God help me. I sent her away two days ago to see my sister in Kansas. Those sons of bitches must have been watching. I'm flat busted. I gave you everything I have. I'm begging you. Please, don't let those killers get away with this. Please. You don't know who you're messing with. My name is Snipes, and I have more than a hundred guns back in me.
know. This ain't no place for us. Keep your eyes wide open, brother. There are Indians everywhere. Sometimes it seems like they appear out of thin air.
Welcome, stranger. Take a look around. Well, what do you know? Looks like we got ourselves some kind of hero. Let's see what you got, amigo. Draw your weapon. Thank <laughs> you. 
Dead Outlaw is a good way to start the day. Want to buy or rob? Lost and found. You done with it? Don't worry about me. It's time to talk to Mendoza and his amigo, the smuggler. You sure about that? Let's go. Mendoza said to lay low for a little longer. You attracted a lot of attention. I've had enough laying low. Hold your horses, Ray. Can't hurt to stay in hiding for a little bit. Well, fine, little brother. Let's hide then. At their hideout. You are one impatient son bitch. We're looking for Juarez. That's the boss. I know that some bitch from somewhere. Hey. We're looking for Juarez. Did he pull out? Mr. Mendoza has decided to continue his journey without me. Barnsby? He didn't like the idea at first, but I convinced him it would be in his best interest to leave you two behind. Ray and Thomas McCall. I made a blood oath on the flag of the Confederacy that I would hunt down every deserter who fled my command. Because of cowards like you, Atlanta was burned to the ground. My wife and children murdered in their beds. Meanwhile, subhuman animals are now free to live among the decent Christian folk. Free to do whatever they want. Fornication with our women. Misogynation. Colonel, you will pay for your betrayal. You will die a coward's death, and you will burn in hell for all eternity! 